Welcome to Sanam's Kitchen. Today's recipe is tomato dal, which can be as a, served as a main course with rice and roti. And this is very healthy and nourishing. It's gluten-free, vegan, and nut-free recipe. So let's start. Here I took some lentils, assorted lentils. You can choose any lentils that you want. I have some pigeon peas, chickpeas, mung dal, and urad dal. I'm going to rinse this with a few cups of water a couple of times. You can choose any type of lentil, uh, either if you have a, any one of them is missing, it's okay. If you want to make it with one type of lentil, it's okay too. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt and pinch of turmeric. And with few cups of water, I'm going to pressure cook this for about three whistles. So let's turn on the heat and I'm going to pressure cook it for three whistles. Now heat a pot, add one tablespoon of ghee. This tastes best when it's cooked in ghee, but you can also use butter or any cooking oil. To that, I'm going to add some whole spices like fenugreek seeds, fennel seeds, coriander seeds, also mustard seeds and cumin seeds. This gives a really nice flavor. Pinch of asafoetida or hing and two whole red chilies. Add few curry leaves and turmeric powder and I'm going to add about one cup of uh, chopped onions. Now stir fry this for about a minute, I'm going to add ginger paste, garlic paste and green chili paste. You can add more or less according to your preference. Now with few tablespoons of water, I'm going to let it cook for about a minute. Now add red chili powder, garam masala and cumin coriander powder. And again, I'm adding few tablespoons of water so that my spices don't get burned. Now add one teaspoon of salt and I'm going to cover this and let it cook for four minutes on a low flame. Now onions are all melted and then I'm going to add chopped tomatoes. I have chopped the tomatoes big, but you can chop fine if you like. Now cover it, let it cook for a minute or so. Meanwhile, our lentil is also perfectly cooked. It's all soft, so I'm going to add the lentils. Mix it well, and I'm going to add about one cup of water. Now mix it and I'm going to add about 1 teaspoon of salt. I only added salt a little bit in the beginning. Now bring it to boil and here your dal is ready. So I'm going to take it out in a serving bowl. Look how pretty the color is and it is very satisfying meal along with rice or roti. Garnish with cilantro or hara dhania and ready to eat i hope you like this video please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and i'll see you with another simple recipe till then happy eating by the way don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel bye bye